In this lesson, we're going to look at the warnings associated with the yaw damper and pitch trim systems and the flight envelope protection system. Let's begin with yaw damper warnings. If either yaw damper 1 or 2 fails, an ECAM warning message is displayed. The only other indication is the associated lever tripping off. If both yaw dampers fail, a single chime sounds, a master caution is given, an ECAM warning message is displayed, and both levers trip off. The AP is inoperative if both yaw dampers fail. So if you experience Dutch roll, you should keep the controls at neutral and should not use the rudder. Don't forget, natural damping will eventually stop any Dutch roll. You can reduce the risk of Dutch roll by transferring fuel forward and starting to descend to below flight level 290. If a yaw damper failure is independent of any other system failure, then you should attempt to reset it. Do not attempt to reset a failed yaw damper if a primary system has also failed. For example, an electrical failure leading to the loss of the yaw damper. In this example, the primary system has been recovered and the yaw damper could be reset. Note, you should only attempt to reset the yaw damper when the primary system has been recovered. If either pitch trim 1 or 2 fails, an ECAM warning message is displayed. There is no other indication other than the associated lever tripping off. If both pitch trims fail, a single chime sounds, a master caution is given, an ECAM warning message is displayed, and both levers trip off. If both pitch trim systems have failed, then you must use manual pitch trim. If manual pitch trim is not available, then it is likely the stabiliser has jammed. If a pitch trim failure is independent of any other system failure, then you should attempt to reset it. Do not attempt to reset a failed pitch trim if a primary system has also failed, for example, an electrical failure. The procedure for attempting to reset the pitch trim is the same as you saw in the yaw dampers. You must also limit speed to 285 knots or 0 0.78 Mach. Altitude is limited to 35,000 feet to ensure acceptable longitudinal stability and to preserve the 1.3 G margin to buffet onset. As you know, normally FAC1 supplies PFD1 and FAC2 supplies PFD2. If a FAC fails for any reason, then all the speeds usually calculated by the failed FAC can no longer be displayed on its associated PFD. A FAC failure is indicated by the speed limit flag on the PFD. The warning first flashes for a few seconds before remaining steady.
If you are unfortunate enough to have both facts fail at the same time, the speed limit flag is displayed on both PFDs. Single or double slat flap control computer failures give the same warnings and indications as fact failures. If a single ADC fails, a single chime sounds, a master caution is given, an ECAM warning message is displayed, and a speed and MAC warning are displayed on the PFD. The speed tape turns red and all speed information is lost, including the limit air speeds. If both ADCs fail, a single chime sounds, the master caution light comes on, an ECAM warning message is displayed, and the speed, MAC and FD warnings are displayed on the PFDs. The speed tapes turn red and all speed information is lost, including the limit air speeds. That completes the first lesson on the auto flight system warnings. The next lesson deals with warnings associated with the APFD system and the ATS.